Here we are at the Invertrosics campsite and activity centre. This is a cabin on the side of Loch Renneke. Roger Reddington's car with the van. And here's Paul. Why are you here, Paul? Well, my group got kind of angry that there was barely any room down there, so they kind of trekked off up to the oh, tents. Oh, so I see. So they're going to do the challenge up there? Okay, off you go then. Good luck. Okay, do you want to yell at the some of the leaders. I think they're just about to have some lemonade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to pass down to another group. No, that I And who's this? This is Kyle. Why are you coming up, Kyle? How's the challenge going? They want me to come and ask if they can borrow uh, Stuart's pen knife. Right, carry on. To cut the... Yes, carry on. This is the walk actually down to the boat shed. Where another group doing a challenge. One of the challenges is to make a kite, and this is by the way it's the boat ship, and the water actually is very high at the moment. But uh, this is Gregor. Gregor tape, and there's a uh, David Walker and how are we doing, David? Fine, yeah. Um, I need headlines. Ah, we saw Carl on his way up there. Yes. Yeah. What's the general plan here? Um, I'm just making kind of old-fashioned kind of idea. Yeah. Ah, yes, I know what you mean. Cut that out and have it so that it's going to kind of diamond shape. Right, right. And then have the from the middle. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, uh, this is the catapult thing. It's going to be A frame, two A frames, and then a bar across the middle, like the, the tent. Right. Plus, and then another one, then at the bottom, and then we'll have the large case for the tension. So, so how's it going to fire? Um, well, just hopefully with it. The tension, right, I've got it. Okay, thank you. Just along from the cabin, a short way, there's a path up to the main two campsite areas. There is another one called Woodlands further over to the right. However, if we go up this set of this path here through this very pleasant woodland, we come up to the campsite. There's two, one either side of the bank. And there is in fact a tap up here as well.
and there's the actual sun. One way and the other way. Fairly, fairly well put up with guys equal lengths. Look at, have a look at this one here. There we are. Cross guide, main guys cross. Now we're going to walk over and see what Alistair, Akiva, Greg, Rash and all Grandson here are doing. Yep. Right. I'm glad we've got a mate. Yes. Oh. Right. How are we doing Alistair? What are we doing? Um, you're going to show this. Hmm? There'll be video evidence used against you in court. Um, I'm making. I'm going to use um, gravity to fire the water. Right. By using a kind of catapult. I see. I see. And I'm doing the cakes. So and what are you doing, Greg? Uh, cakes. <laughs> You're doing the kite. I so see. This is it so far. That's it so far. Well, that's, that's looking fine. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Is this, uh, is well, this going to be aerodynamic, is it, do you think? Um, probably not, no. Right. But hopefully. But hopefully, yes, yes, yes. And while well, I'm making the catching for teeth. I see, and, and, and you're, I see. Wh which of the challenges is this involved with? Uh, this is involved in the throwing wobble because this is going to be part of the tripod that sticks into the ground. I've got you, right. I oh, see. I'm okay. Oh, I see. Right. Right. Oh, right. 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 And here we are from a higher place, just uh, looking out across the loch to Venica, the other side, indeed the site of a summer camp in 93, just about there in the middle. That's the very steep track up to it with the hills above and running away the calendar over the other side. If you just listen to the birds Thank you. 
And here we are on the 26th of June 1999 at our summer camp. It's on a disused railway track at Bolnam Muir. If we walk along the track Bona Muir, near Logie Ray, near Ballinluig, near Pitlochy. There is a hole in this bridge. However, this does illustrate the hardships of Scout Camp, and we're approaching it on one of the days when the hardships were at their peak. Here is one patrol slogging away doing maintenance in absurdly trying conditions. That's the railway line behind the site and we'll walk down into the site now. You'll notice, I know, your sympathies will be with us in these trying conditions, which even the youngest of scouts, up with which they have to put. Um, you'll see there's a marquee here, a haven of peace, shelter, um, and the scouts can get in sometimes. No, but really. Um, the cooking area is this end, and the open area um, for wet weather or other activities is the other end. You'll notice there is a, there is a gazebo here. Actually, this is an experiment and we have double guide it because gazebos can't stand up otherwise and uh, we're just seeing how it works over here a patrol sites this one near is Kestrel and that further away is the Pumas and that is the view up the valley. We can follow Graham Patrick across there, going across, I think, for a digging implement, and that's a pumice fire there. And that's the backdrop. You'll notice the I just say they're very exacting conditions here. If we can walk in closer, we'll see the leader tents. Well, there's a car park, and then the leader tents 